Hello, hello, and welcome back to Inspirations, where you can find encouragement to inspire a life. This is Dana Susan Beasley of angelarts.biz, and today I am starting a brand new series on transforming your stress into blessings. So let me start with prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, we depend on you for everything we have and are. Help us to be real with you, to give our hearts and minds completely to you. Thank you for being there for us always. In Jesus' name, amen. So the scripture I'm going to read today is Luke 6. And just to let you know, before I start the scripture, that this study is something that I did years ago where I took passages that had the word blessed, blessed, or blessing in it. And I turned it into this study called 31 Day Blessings Journey. And I did it in my own private devotions and did a lot of journaling. And it was so inspiring to me during a very difficult time. So I decided to turn it into a book. And that's when 31 Day Blessings Journey was born. And so I'm going to be bringing that to you in the next 30 days or so. And if you want to see some videos of it, too, you can see that also. And you can just go to my YouTube channel, Angel Arts Biz. But anyway, and also, before I resume, if you would want to have a devotional plan based on words, bless, blessed, and blessing, I have that all prepared for you. And you can have that for free, so just look in the description below. All right, so let's get started. And I might just want to put on my glasses so I can read this correctly. Okay. Jesus came down with them and stood on a level place, and there was a large crowd of his disciples and a great throng of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon who would come to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were being cured, and all the people were trying to touch him, for power was coming from him and healing them all. And turning his gaze, his gaze toward his disciples, he began to say, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you and ostracize you and insult you, and scorn your name as evil for the sake of the Son of Man. Be glad in that day and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way their fathers used to treat the prophets. But woe to you who are rich, for you are receiving your comfort in full. Woe to you who are well fed now, for you shall be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you shall mourn and weep. Woe to you when all men speak well of you, for their fathers used to treat the false prophets in the same way. So, here are my devotional thoughts on that, and and I hope you find this encouraging. What am I trusting in? What are you trusting in? Who do I look to for strength? Who do you look to for strength? Is it our riches, or do we trust in God? In Matthew, it says, blessed are the poor in spirit. Well, I'm certainly not rich by a long sight, a long, you know, sight, but I have, because I have a lot of needs, I could tell you, both for myself and my family, we are beginning to recognize the needs and openly acknowledge them. In fact, Luke 6 has been a huge part of our family life. We don't by any means pretend we have it all together. And we don't. We don't have it together financially, mentally, physically, organizationally, for sure. And particularly, we get that relationally. We need God, and we know it. I think that's where blessing comes from. Recognizing our need for God and thirsting for the kingdom of God, both as heaven on earth and one day when all will be healed, our bodies restored, and we never lack for anything. I don't know about you, but I look forward to that day. And so my response to the scripture that, you know, I, to Luke 6, to Luke 6, is to acknowledge to God and to you that I need his help in all I'm doing. 
I needed in my parenting, my marriage, my business, my finances, my son's needs. And yes, especially this podcast and all that I'm promoting. I could not have done it, written this book, without God's inspiration. In fact, I am nothing and nobody without Jesus. It's only my utter dependence on him that I'm able to bring you these words of encouragement. And, you know, as I write this, I've had so many challenges, like, or as I I speak this out, I have so many challenges because um, just yesterday my computer cord decided to die, so... Yeah, so uh, I'm doing this on my phone, which works okay, but it's not exactly how I want it. But anyway, it doesn't always go the way we want to, but that just gives us all the more reason to depend on God. And my encouragement and challenge to you is to ask yourself, in what ways are you depending on your own strength rather than on God? Spend some time acknowledging your weaknesses and your challenges to Jesus. Give them to him with open hands and heart. Depend on him with all your strength and being. So I always like to end with an activity that you can do with your family. Have your children draw a map of Galilee using your Bible or online reference site. Locate the city of Capernaum. Go on Google Maps and see it from a satellite view. Imagine yourself standing there on the plane or on the hill listening to Jesus' sermon. In fact, just to add to this, because when I wrote this, the show did not exist, but watch The Chosen. I am a big fan of that series because it is life-changing. And I personally was so touched by it because you could just see and feel and feel like you're there in Jesus' time. So I highly recommend that you watch that. All right, so let's end with prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, we praise you that you are able to handle all our challenges, that we can utterly depend on you. Right now, we give you our weaknesses and our shortcomings. We thank you in advance that you will use those shortcomings for tremendous blessing, both for ourselves and those around us. In Jesus' name, amen. So... That's all for today's lesson, and I hope that you join me tomorrow when I do a I talk through Proverbs 10, 22. But in the meantime, if you're interested in checking out my book, The Blessings Journey, I have a link below that you can you can learn more and it also there's I have a set where you can get the blessings journey plus the blessings journal which is like a bullet journal so you can learn all about that in the link in the description below so that's all for today I will leave you with my favorite blessing the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you the Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace This is Dana Susan Beasley of AngelArts.biz. Together, may we reach new heights in our lives and beyond.